So we won't describe your destiny as a mathematician quite yet. Yeah, you, but it, but it was. But it, I don't think it was my destiny. The destiny was I actually, if I could, I would do chemistry or physics. Chemistry, uh, maybe more, because as when I came to Leningrad, I, I liked chemistry. Because actually, when I found in the garbage somewhere a textbook on chemistry, and I read and enjoyed very much, and then again in school there was nothing to do, because school was really, really rather boring. You, you it was had... pretty good. Actually, chemistry was the best we had at school, ah. and because there was a good teacher, and I, 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 again, I mentioned this in my autobiography, he taught me the main mm -hmm. lesson of being honest. Which was unique, you know, because of an accident and there was near, could have been blended, and he admitted his mistake. Mm -hmm. I never met before or after somebody doing that. Yeah. Who just admitted what he like some, did? Somebody know. done wrong, which could have killed the child, or, and, and admitted to the child he made a mistake. Wow. And this was incredible. I, I, I took it for granted, normal behavior. But then when I read, even people around me, nobody would do that. They, oh, no, I, it's not me, not me, not my fault. <laughs> anyway, you know, and this was, and he was a really remarkable person. Then I understand why it was so pleasant in his classes, regardless of that. He was really a deeply honest person. And this, his classes had very pleasant impression, though he was a not very good chemist. You know, he made this mistake, and he was not knowing good, very good chemistry, very good. But it was his attitude. But his that, attitude, that human him. attitude was crucial for me. Yes. The idea of honesty. Honesty. And this is the idea I got from him. And then no, no, uh, and unconsciously, of course, at that time. What age are you now? At the end of high school when you meet him? No, no, no. I never met. It was at, at my maybe seven or eighth grade. Seven or eighth grade? He arranged some experiments. I was trying to do it this way. I said, no, do it this way. And that suggested cause kind of uh, injustice, which happened. It was not so bad. Uh, the end was okay, but I could have got blinded by that. And he admitted that. So you, you, you think you're going to be in chemistry? I, no, you know, no, no, I, no, I like chemistry, you but like the problem it. with chemistry, you have to have a... Well, first, I don't think it would be good there. You know, I was not very kind of innovative in my hands. But then you have uh -huh. to be exposed to people to some way to experiments to this. I wasn't. You can't do it from books. Uh -huh. And you can't do it by yourself. And so and when I met at some point students of my age who were exposed to that they were infinitely more qualified they knew infinitely more than me but with the mathematics it was so good and also with physics yeah you, you have to be exposed to actual experience to, exp to, to people know physics and can explain it to you and make experiments mm. uh, otherwise things meaningless yeah and uh, and and all i didn't have this exposure but with mathematics, it's some more moment, and this it was in my ninth grade. Okay. I think I found some te some book with problems. I was doing it a little bit before, but that was my. And then I was spending all time solving these problems. I enjoyed it because I could do it myself, and I didn't nobody. And you can think, and the problem, good thing with mathematics, even of course you solve the problems and you repeat what has been done, you do it yourself. So yes. it's a creative process, so to speak. 